FreeWords is a global addressing system. So we've split the entire world into 57 trillion, three meter by three meter squares, or 10 feet by 10 feet in the US. And we've given every square, which is about the size of a parking spot, a three word address. So basically right now, if I want to give you my office address, I have to give you a long traditional street address. And that's going to be really difficult to say into your car. Um, but the front, my office has two doors and the entrance is at Chops Salt Vivid. So if you just say I want to go to Chops Salt Vivid, you'll get to the exact right place in Foster City, California, versus a street address. So same thing in London, we are at Field Count Soap and Suite 301. So you can just use that to get to the exact right location. Our top markets are in Germany, the UK, the US. Um, we're starting to do work in China because we've just launched our Chinese app, so we're really excited about that. It's available on two app stores so far, and we're working with a lot of OEMs out there to get it into vehicles. Uh, we're also doing work in South Africa and Saudi Arabia. We've got teams on the ground there working with local businesses. Mercedes-Benz became the first OEM or the first automaker to launch with What Three Words last year in 2018. And that was very exciting for us. They were the first to announce and the first to start using What Three Words in their vehicles. And we're working with them on lots of exciting projects. And we just last week launched a partnership with Ford. So now there are millions of Ford drivers who can also speak or type three word addresses directly into, into their vehicles um, using, using our app. In the US is actually one of our, our biggest markets and which is amazing because we haven't, we've actually just entered the US market. I've just moved here a few months ago, we've opened the office. office. Um, we've only just started working with Ford last week. So I think that it's a wide, big country with a large population which uses addresses multiple times per day. And so for us, that's really important because we've done some work in developing countries and there they're not as familiar, they're not using addresses quite as much. Um, whereas in places like Germany and the UK and the US, you and I, we use addresses 10 times per day everywhere we're going, um, putting an address into a device or to a vehicle. So that's where we see a lot of the pickup where, where people are constantly using addresses.